At least she didn't pronounce Bellet. Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I don't know if you remember this, but I did a review on point shoes from Wish. And now we're gonna look at reviews on Amazon. So we're gonna see what they say about it. They as in the people who bought the point shoes. These look a lot like the Wish point shoes. I don't know, let's see, $20, what a deal. And it comes with toe pads. I think they're toe pads. I don't know, they look very odd. TXJ Sports Ballet Shoes. Point is spelled without an E. Ballet shoes for girls and women. 656 reviews, four stars. Who, what are you doing with them? Hopefully they're just decorating the shoes and saying, ooh, this is a very pretty shoe. You're not actually dancing in these. Here goes the video. That looks exactly like the Wish Point shoes that we did the review on. This is my pink, pink ballet shoes. Um, these don't have a split sole. So these don't have a split sole? Only one company does this. I have the flexibility that you would with the split sole, but these are performance ballet slippers. If you know anything about pants, you know that these wear out a lot faster than the leather ones or the canvas ones. These wear out a lot faster than the leather ones? Point shoes are made out of leather. I don't know what these point shoes are made out of, but most point shoes are made out of leather. Wait, is this a joke? I don't know. I can't tell if she's being facetious or I don't know if she's being serious. Is this a serious review? Solely for performances and for people who will stand on their toes. Um, she, did she just say these shoes are meant just for performances? I don't, I don't, I don't know how to break it to this lady, like... It's not meant for anything. What I love about these particular ballet shoes is that there is no elastic strip across the top, which is usually atypical, but... None of the shoes come with elastics. You have to sew them on yourself. What most dancers will have to do after they get their ballet shoes is sew in their own elastics so that they can keep their foot in place because you want to buy your shoe bigger because you need to have room to maneuver. But no, you don't want your shoes to be too big. You want it to be tight around your foot. Now, you can make this really tight and it's going to stay put. Is she just saying words? I am so scared that this is a real review. I was like hoping that by the end she's like, no, I was just kidding. Don't buy these for dance, but no, she is serious. It comes with the ribbon, so you can tie it around your ankle and make it all super pretty. And of course they added reinforcements so you don't completely kill your... Reinforcements. She just called toe pads reinforcements. The toes, I like the silicone. Um, these are really pretty. I am super excited to play with these a little bit. Sketch these out just a little bit so that I have a little bit more traction. No. I don't even know what these are made of. These are really well made. Oh, no, they're not. I like the, uh, I love them. I feel like I'm being punked right now. Am I being punked? Am I being punked, Jazzly? What the freak? Is this real? Did you do this? Is this you? Oh my gosh, I can't believe. She's dead serious. I am, I am so scared by this review. I think they're worth it. I think they're worth, what? Worth your ankles? I do feel very comfortable in them. I'm a size nine in women's, and this is, a, I think, a 41 or a 42, I don't recall. And it fits really good. It fits my heel fine. And there's no pain at all or discomfort. Discomfort. She, it's, it's a bedroom slipper on her. Uh, if you would like to customize your ballet shoes, there's a plenty of tutorials on YouTube to show you how to do so. These toe protectors, there's a silicone one. No. And I don't know what material this is, but this... I don't either. What is it? I don't know. What is it? We're inserting the, them into the ballet shoes. So you put one into the other and then the bulk double padding just double it, yeah that's mm, it's just getting better and better for them into the shoe that's what i did and they feel 
absolutely great. I have my foot on the floor right now. Don't go up on point. Don't go up on point. Don't go up on point. On the point, and it does not hurt. On the point. It's called platform. It feels amazing. I cannot wait to think. Thank you. Bye-bye. There's a better way to do this. Okay, so if you're serious about going on point, there are a lot of resources out there that can help you get ready for point work. It's very dangerous to purchase point shoes online, especially if you're not fitted correctly and if you're not in the right materials. Thank you, Peter, for sending us these videos. <laughs> Um, if you guys want me to see anything else, if you want me to react to anything or get a real fitting, you can find us on our website. And if you want to see any more of these videos, leave that on the comments. I'll see you guys later.